Hi Capricorn, Narai here. I was doing a reading and there were a lot of interruptions on my computer. So we're going to do a reading for you. Awesome. Give me one moment, please. Apparently, I have to shut something down in order for these notifications to stop. So, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Narai. Go by Nay. This is Oracle Moon Messages. Excuse my curls. They have a life of their own, a mind of their own. So we're going to pull some tarot cards. Um, I am trying to grow my channel, so feel free to subscribe. That way you know the next time I do a video, I do all 12 signs. And thank you. You can like and share the video. Also, if you feel like somebody may resonate with it, or if you resonate with it. Okay, we're taking this card that fell. Messages and guidance, spirit. Two more shuffles, please. Yes, and thank you. Two more shuffles. One more shuffle, please. Yes, and thank you. I have the Four of Pentacles. This is you guys being frugal, um, having control. I feel like this is actually with your energy, not just your money. I do have the Page of Pentacles. This is somebody um, that's studying something. It's like somebody is trying to learn something. This is somebody being prepared and cheerful. You might be holding your energy from a page, but this could be a message coming to you also. Ooh, yeah, you got messages coming. Somebody might come towards you that is very outspoken and honest. Like somebody that's too honest. Like no tact doesn't hold things back is kind of what I got. I feel like this is a person that's very analytical when it comes to other people, but they don't like looking at themselves and hearing themselves. Do you know who I'm talking about? Ooh. Ooh. The Strength card. I actually pulled this in today's reading earlier. The Strength card. This is you guys having um, unconditional love. This is you guys having self-love and respect. Um, compassion. You guys can persevere. This is being courageous and brave. This is you guys getting out of your comfort zone and taking a step towards something that you know you need to do even though you're kind of fearful about not succeeding but just having the strength to push forward three of fires yes yeah, three of fire three of wands yes this is in regards to your goal so there's some sort of goal that you guys have something that you've envisioned that you're kind of afraid to do and spirit is telling you that you can persevere this you are resilient capricorn you've done this so many times before with other things there's something in particular that you're holding back from. Spirit is saying not to. What? Ooh, Spirit says you can be successful with the sun card. This is you guys being recognized. This is for you to go ahead and get in that energy where you're very excited about something and just do it. Just know that you will succeed. Failure is not trying. When you try something and you fail, you can try again, but failure is not trying. Trying and failing, that's just a stepping stone. You can get past that, but to not try is failure. I don't know who needed to hear that, but it's kind of like if you have something you want to do, spread your wings and fly because at least you tried. The failure, or the peep, the failure is not trying. Trying something and not being successful at it is not failure because it's getting you closer to the success that you desire. 
messages and guidance. There are so many options waiting for you. This came out in today's reading too. I'm so positive. Oh no, maybe that was somebody else. That might have been Virgo. But anyway, there's going to be options for you. There are options. If you're looking for ways to make money, there's many ways to make money. If you're looking to have a relationship, there's many people to have relationships with. But just know that everything is not all that it may appear to be. Um, take your time. Pay attention. I got both of these. Ooh. Take your time and pay attention. All right. I have the Knight of Cups. I was just talking about a relationship. This is a person that goes for it. This is a romantic, emotional, and dramatic uh, card. This person, um, notice that horse on his shirt because he is a nice a knight. He's normally on a horse. But I see this as somebody going for what they want when it comes to passion. This person is romantic. This may not be the most emotionally mature, but this person knows what they want and they go for it. I have the Ace of Swords. This can be a conversation. Um, this can be an uh, inspiration, some sort of um, clarity, some sort of epiphany, a realization in regards to something. Some of you may have a realization in regards to a relationship that you may want to pursue with somebody or in regards to this business or whatever this is that you're wanting to go towards, but you're feeling fearful that you can't. I'm reminding you that you can and you will and you shall. This is in regards to you being aware and taking caution. With the Seven of Swords, I'm here to remind you to take your time and think and, and proceed with caution because everything is not as it appears. And if you, if you make the wrong choice, there are consequences. There are good consequences and there are bad consequences. So that's something to keep in mind. Ooh, yes, please move forward because you will be closing out cycles. And for the love options, there are a lot of different people that are actually interested in you, Capricorn. But this is your luck changing because you're doing something different. You're getting out of your comfort zone. You're not asking the universe for something um, different doing the same thing. You're asking the universe for something different and you're doing things differently in order to receive those. So this is progress and positive change. You, something's coming to a completion for you. Yeah. You're in that, you're in that energy now where you are, um, what is it? You're being very intellectual, very head over heart, um, very objective, ob objective. I can't even speak. Very objective. It's kind of like you standing your ground, standing in your truth, being very honest. Um, but I see you're letting burdens go. Um, you're putting things down. You are finding balance within your life and you're letting things go. I think part of the reason you want to go towards this, whatever it is, is to find uh, more sense of balance in your life. Oh, wow. Please do. Look. I have the Queen of Swords as well. I sure do. I have the Queen of Swords as well. Um, this is someone brilliant. I feel like you're going to meet your match. If you go out there, whether it is romance, whether it is business or a partnership, even if it's making a friend, I feel like you're going to find your match. This is just about you guys getting out of your comfort zone. Um, don't be so uptight. You know we're known for being stoic. People don't understand our humor, but you know what? You got to be a Capricorn to understand a Capricorn's humor. That is all I have to say. So be humorous in this situation, whatever it may be. 
know that failure is not trying. Failure is not trying and not being successful is not failure. Failure is not trying. It's all about our perspective. We have to change our mentality. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition, Capricorn. This is knowing you have the wisdom inside. Be patient with yourself. Don't try to rush anything. If it comes to love and relationships, be sure to be mindful and trust your intuition. Don't move too fast. And if it comes to love, the same thing because you don't want to make a mistake. So I'm going to pull um, moon cards. Ooh. I have a look at the bigger picture. Oh my God, if this ain't it, I don't know what to tell you. When you are in tune with spirit, it is amazing is all I have to tell you. So it says, look at the bigger picture, full moon and Sagittarius. And new moon and Scorpio, work through your fears. I can't even make this up. Work through your fears. All right, Capricorn, I love you guys. I hope that this did help someone. Um, again, please subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to know the next time I make a video. Um, like and share my video. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.